Welcome to my YouTube channel Modi Mechanical Engineering Tutorials. In this video, I would like to explain about fatling and cleaning into a casting process. And that will be the very important topics. So let us start with a introduction of that particular process. So just you can see, fatling is the name given to cover all those operations which helps to giving the casting a good appearance after the same has been shaken out of the sand mold. So basically this process it will be performing after a solidification of the metal into a mold cavity. So after breaking that particular the sand mold, so that process or you can see that number of process it will be used for making a good castings. So let us start. Basically fatling includes with removal of course from the castings. Then after removal of adhering sands and oxide scale from the casting surfaces or you can say that will be considering as a surface cleaning operations. Then removal of gets, risers, runners or you can say different components that will be used into a casting process. Removal of the fins and other unwanted projections from the castings. So basically the removal of the cores. So just you can see the basic arrangement that will be used into a sand casting process. So just you can see the upper portions from a parting line. So this one is our parting line and top side or you can say upper portion it will be cop lower portion that will be drag. So this cop and drag which will be separated by a parting line. And after the alignment with cop and drag, so it will be making a flask and filling the sand and making a some kind of getting systems like pouring basin. It will be connected with the sprue. Then it will be connected with a getting systems and runner and riser. So just you can see here two kind of risers is being used. So one is a blind riser and second one is our open riser. And as per the my requirements of the hollow castings, so it will be utilization of sand core materials. So just you can see these green portions that will be known to be a mold cavity or you can say that will be my required shape. And just you can see the some ventilations it will be also providing for escaping the air which will be present into the different getting systems as well as into a mold cavity. So these all parts it will be need to be removed. So here it will be discussion on to the removal of the cores. So after the solidification of the metals into a mold cavity. So the important part is core is to be removed. So just you can see. It may be difficult to remove dry sand and hardened cores in the absence of the suitable equipments. So once the molten form of the metals which will be solidified. So into the solidification process this metal get shrink and around this sand core it will be the molten form of the metals. So which will be having a difficulties. So that will be having a problems into a removal of the course from a sand casting process. So you should use hammering or vibrations imparted to course thus loosens and break them up. So that will be the one of the methodology. Then sand portions sticking inside the castings are removed by poking actions using a metal roll. Then course from larger castings may be removed effectively by pneumatic wrapping and hydroplasting process. Then second important part that will be the cleaning of casting surface. So basically the outside and inside surface of the castings are clean of adhering the refractory particles and oxide scales and they look smooth and pleasing. So basically during the pouring of the molten form of the metals that will be formation of the some kind of oxide scales. 
the extent of the surface cleaning requires depends upon the metals or you can say alloys of the castings and the size of the castings so which kind of alloying elements which would be used to making a cast products as well as that would be also depends upon the complexity of the casting products as well as the size of the castings then into a steel castings basically because of their high meltings and the pouring temperatures and still having the consequent burning of the sands in contact with the molten metal so that would be only talking about the steel castings which will be having a higher melting points so which require considerable more cleaning than those of the irons and brass then in case of aluminum castings are virtually free from burn onto a sand then since heavy a casting suffers more than the light castings from a burning on of the sands their cleaning is more difficult so which kind of materials or you can say molten form of the metals or you can say alloying elements which would be used for making a cast products so according to that we have to select the different kind of cleaning of the casting surfaces then sand may be removed from the surfaces of the castings using hand methods or you can say mechanical equipments then after the removal of the gets and risers so just you can see there will be the different components it will be used into a sand casting process like a pouring basin sprue this blind riser runner or you can say getting systems and open riser if it will be used so in case of that particular removal of gets and risers the numerous methods are available for removing the fitting and getting systems so basically the choice of a particular methods that will be depends upon the three things types of the metal or you can say alloy or you can say molten form of the metals second thing size of the castings or you can say complexity of the castings and third one size of runners getting systems and risers so which kind of runners or can say getting systems it will be used and which kind of risers in some case it will be only open risers is being used in some case only blind riser is being used so in case of the open risers that will be having a uh, difficulties but in case of the blind risers it will be easily removing from a casting process then after a few commonly used methods are given below like a uh, chipping hammers you can use it then second one that will be the flogging or you can say knocking off third thing it will be searing you can use a searing process for removing of that particular components then sawing you can use that is the simplest techniques for removing of that particularly gets and risers then abrasive wheel slitting or you can say with the help of grindings so you can use it then another one that would be the machining process you can use it then flame cutting process so by the application of the flame from oxygen and acetylene you should use it for the cutting of that particularly gets and risers as per my requirements then after removal of the fins and other unwanted projections from a uh, castings so just we discussed that castings are trimmed to remove the fins chaplets wires parting lines and the stumps of the feed heads and ingots all these unwanted projections are dressed flush with the surfaces so the methods for employing the removal of the unwanted projections from the castings are basically utilization as a chipping techniques then second one that will be sewing then flame cuttings we are already discussing for removal of the gets and risers so similar kind of things it will be used for removal of the fins and other unwanted projections that will be generating into the sand casting process then flame gogging and flame scarfing then after grinding process you should use it then abrasive belt machinings it will be also used then rotary tool cuttings trimming and sizings so 
I hope you understand this fatling process. So if you like this, then subscribe and share Modi Mechanical Engineering tutorials. Thank you so much and keep watching.